this tutorial will show you how to create the basic structure for your web page uh, with columns and boxes and things. Um, you want to navigate back to the wherever your web page is, um, click on it once and press edit document. It'll pop in a different window so you've still got the original one here and the one you're editing here. Now at the top you've got these things called frog bricks and they're split up across the top uh, to various different tools you can use um, to make your pages. Uh, the most common ones we're going to be using are common and structure as well. Um, but there are very good ones in media and collaboration as well. Um, the first thing we're going to do is going to set the width of the page. Um, we're trying to keep all the, the web pages the same width which is the, the full width of this page here um, so from one end to the other. Um, in the mini site we want to go to structure and then you want to go to scroll frame which will be the first thing you put in and to put frog bricks in you just drag and drop so I'm just going to drag that and drop it anywhere here doesn't matter where. Um, when you hover over it you'll see I'll get a little tooltip pop up saying it's a scroll frame if I double click anywhere there it's going to ask me what settings I want to do. It's the same thing for frog bricks if you just double click on them you'll get your options. Um, the width should be 920 um, as that is how wide our and part design is and the height can be whatever you like um, it's, it's irrelevant but we can set ours to start with to 800 if you find you need more space you can increase it or if you need less you, you can decrease it as well so I press OK and that sets it up now that's roughly how wide it is there that box that's how wide it's going to be and that, if you scroll down that's how, how tall it's going to be as well um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a title in um, so I'm going to go back to common the common bricks and I'm going to use what's called um, a boxes, margin and background images so I'm just going to shorthand that for boxes so drag your boxes brick in inside the scroll frame so that's fine and again um, what it's given us is the ability to put a background on another brick so I'm going to drag the heading brick which is just here and drag that inside to this inner layer here and let go so on the outside you've got your boxes uh, brick and on the inside you've got your heading brick just like that there so I'm going to start by double clicking on the boxes one, which is just here. We've got our boxes editor here. I can set a background colour and how far, how wide the margins are as well. Um, so I'm just going to set the margins to, well, they can say as they are. The uh, the background colour, I'm going to set to a dark blue. Say OK. Um, the border colour, if you tip the border box, uh, which I don't want to do. Um, and then you press OK. So that set the out, the outside of it and the background to, to blue and now I do click on the heading. I can change a few things here as well. So I'm gonna say computing sites. And then the advanced section, um, it's not all that advanced, it's just the alignments and also the heading colour. Um, so I'm gonna set the colour to white and say okay. So I've got the, the starting bit of my site just there. Um, these tool, these bricks up here, the two columns, three columns, four columns, and five columns, allow you to split your website up into multiple different columns. So I'm just going to have um, two columns to start with, and I'm going to click and drag that underneath. So not inside of here. I'm going to drag it just underneath, just there. So that's what you want that selected line to be. And there you go. So inside here, I've got two cells that I can use as well. Um, and drop, drag more things inside of them. So I'm going to insert this one here. I'm going to drag a text and pictures block. And I'm going to, do, going to do exactly the same in the other block. So that is the, the basic structure of things. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to do and use all these boxes.